So we've come to the last stop on our journey exploring the Mayan circle and we are here at Chichen Itza. Arguably the best preserved site in this region. Let's do some exploring. So you can see again as we come across the numbers 9 and 13, there are nine levels to this pyramid before we hit the top. Nine being the sacred number to the Maya, just as 13 is. Let's continue around the side, see what we find. So you can see on this side the casing stones are off and it's just field stone. Comprise this with uh, mortar between the finer work is blocking the less attractive work underneath. You can see a door there, a metal gate, which blocks access to some sort of a small tunnel that either will come out the other side of the stairs or turn into the actual pyramid body itself. Unfortunately, not open. As of, I think, 2007, you're no longer allowed to climb into the main chamber up there, which is too bad. Okay, so here we are at the Serpents. It's on the, well, it depends on which side you come in. I suppose it's on the western side. Maybe or the northern side. Anyways, if I remember correctly, on the winter solstice or the equinox, you'll start seeing the shadows come up along here that sort of act as the serpent's spine. So it's possible the altar seats and everything here was actually thrones, maybe not sacrificial spots. It's beautiful though, absolutely beautiful. So here we are, the temple de los guerreros. So what you see here is jaguars moving, jaguars processing. There they are. I think those are spears. And we can't get back there, but the jaguars keep going. And it, it says here on the little plaque that this may have been at the top of some temple. Not in its current position. So this building here was a colonnade. It, it was enclosed and had a, you know, more of a building feel to it than what it looks like now. It's kind of dilapidated. We are on the back side of the main pyramid at Chichen Itza. This place is known as the market. It says it's one of the best examples of the gallery and courtyard type found at the site. Here Mayan architects made significant construction advances, making wider vaultings and taller columns. And you can see the taller columns, they're over there, as opposed to the more short ones we've seen that are kind of here, and where we just came from over there. So you can see that these likely all supported sections of roof, maybe. 
would be quite interesting to walk through them. It's uh, quite an architectural choice. There's the serpent head. See, these are not megalithic stones. Platforma de las Aguilas y los Jaguares. Platform of Eagles and Jaguars. It was built approximately 900 to 1200 AD. Skulls. Lots and lots of skulls. <laughs> so here we are in the ball court, which is the largest ball court that I have seen on this trip. It is amazing. I'm going to get to some place where I can clap because the echo in here is ridiculous. You can only imagine somebody awesome may have sat there watching. I don't know, maybe not. There's the two rings where they would throw the ball. So you can see there's the ring, one of them. Oh, I thought she was talking to me, but she's yelling for the echo effect. Let's see if we can mimic it. You can definitely hear it. It's awesome. <laughs> well, there's no better area to do a uh, post-trip analysis than right here at Chichen Itza. Seems fitting to, uh, to be here at this site, overlooking this pyramid. In short, this trip has been amazing. Analyze the Mayan ruins has been really fun. We uh, really got to see a lot of interesting architectural styles and really got to see the difference between Mesoamerican and Central American um, architectural designs versus, say, Egyptian and South American. So it's been really fun. I hope you enjoyed the trip. Catch you in the next continent. <laughs>